You're an expert and partnered with Goop Health, Goop Health and Hay House. You help people heal from family wounds and find blocks in their family system. Your clients get to get to the root of their pain and heal themselves. And, and generations before and after them, which I definitely want to talk about the after them. And that all sounds incredible. But I never even heard of family constellations therapy until I started researching you. So First and foremost, I need you to explain that. Now I know what that is, but I want I need you to explain that. <laughs> so Family Constellations helps you to heal from your family story. Like our entire life is actually influenced, impacted by your own family story or childhood or parents. And when we don't understand where we came from, we might, you know, like repeat the same patterns, behaviors, situations over and over again. So in order, you know, like to finally break free and write your own story, embrace your own destiny, family constellations will help you unblock yourself, unlock yourself, and finally make peace with your family, with your past, with anything, you know, that you were unable to understand at that time. And finally, as an adult, you have the power, it's in your hands, to make peace with it. The best way to know that you are entangled with your family system, it's when, you know, after working on yourself, weeks after weeks, months, years, you are still stuck in the same pattern, you know? Like you are still repeating the same situation, the same shitty relationship, or like you cannot still receive. Honestly, 90% of the time, look at your story. Look at your family story because this is where your answers actually are waiting for you. So that's how you know when your family is in between you and your own life. So how did you get into this? I know you have a psych background anyway, but how did you do a switch or make a jump and get into this? So I was going to become a psychologist back to Paris. This is where I studied psychology. And at the end of my studies, I decided to move to America. And I was in Miami at first. And that's when I got introduced to family constellations. And at that time, yeah, I was getting a divorce uh, with my first husband. And I was not in an easy place. It was very dark. And I could not understand why I kept choosing, you know, like the violent ones, the possessive one, like unhealthy relationships. And so my first time doing a family constellation workshop, I was like, wow, I would have never thought about the influence, you know, like on my family story, on my love life. And at that moment, after 30 minutes of work, I was like, wow, I can work with that. It completely makes sense. You know, like finally it felt aligned with where I was at, you know, like in my life and everything. And I guess it was, you know, falling in love with family constellations. And so I started working on myself again, like through family constellations. And after a few months, I was like, okay, I want to do that. I don't want to be a psychologist anymore. I want to do family constellations. So that's how it happened. I mean, you're doing all kinds of workshops. You're all over, you know, I mean, in New York. And so who do you treat? I mean, how is it mostly women? Is it men? Is it everyone? Uh, it's everyone, Lauren. Like I work like 70% with women, 30% with men. Again, for since COVID actually, I've been working more with male clients. So somebody is listening to this and they say, that's me. All right, I got that. What should they do? Because you can't work with everyone. What are some first steps they should do besides buy your book? And I'll have links to your book and all of that. So yes, they can, they can definitely buy my book. I think it's a great way to, to start somewhere. Yeah. Then the question is, you have to identify, you know, like the pattern, the recurring pattern. And like, for example, dating emotionally unavailable men or like having eating disorders or like addictions or hard for you to get pregnant, maybe like we can work on anything. Okay. Your anxiety, work, money, then what you can do on your own without even buying my book, you can just draw your family tree on three generations. I would say like your generation with your siblings, your parents' generation, and then your grandparents' generation. As a human being, we want to belong. We want to be seen heard and recognized by your family at first. Mm -hmm. And so whatever it takes, we will do it on a subconscious level, of course, but we want to belong. So if my family 
has addictions, yes, there is a bigger chance that I'm going to be an addict. If my family is, I don't know, like struggling with money, yes, I might struggle with money. Or if I make a lot of money, I may self-sabotage myself from making a lot of money. And again, it's all about this subconscious loyalty towards our family system. So when you finally sit down, drawing your family tree, you can see actually like everything, you know, is connected and you can start acknowledging that I am part of a bigger thing in my life and I can belong by being healthy, by being abundant. That will be my gift to my family. And that's when things start finally shifting. What are tools that you teach? Because I know that you also, I saw you have meditations online and you have affirmations also. You, you, it looks like I wasn't sure if you had breath work, but my, my big tools are, are meditation, journaling, breath work, and affirmations. And it seemed like you had most of those yourself. Well, uh, for my clients, you mean, Lorraine, or for myself? For yourself. For myself. What do, you, what do you use? And then we'll see what the biggest tools are. So what I, I love breath work. I did a lot of breath work work actually um, in 2020 with a COVID situation. It uh -huh. tremendously helped me to navigate actually the heavy feelings. But what I like doing is connecting with nature. I love walking and sometimes I can meditate while walking, but that's my thing. I also love dancing. I love, you know, like the unity between my mind, body, and spirit. I love including the three of them all together. So dancing, cooking, working out, walking in nature, uh, swimming in the ocean because I live in Miami. So I'm very lucky yeah. to have a wonderful weather, but also making love with my partner, you know, like having a, a beautiful intimacy with my men is also something that I cherish a lot. And I think you can also learn so much. Acupuncture. I love acupuncture. I'm a big uh, on acupuncture. But yeah, and I love trying. I'm very curious about any new modalities, therapies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I check with myself and I'm like, oh, okay, I would love to dive deeper into my feminine. What could I do? You know, like a warm massage or like a, a woman's circle. Like, I love, you know, like... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, checking on everything. What would you tell somebody that, that, okay, they start working on this and now what is the first form of healing you would have them start doing? Honestly, it's not to sell my thing, but mm -hmm. everything starts with your family. Yeah. Like it, it's your first, again, yeah. system dynamic, you know, like, so if you really want to heal on a deeper level and not only on a surface, you know, because... Some people also sell, you know, the magic pill, you know, like do a four days training and then you are completely healed. No, that's bullshit. That's crap. Like, let's uh, right. talk about this. But I think when you start understanding where you came from, you can feel more grounded in your present moment. And then you can decide on your future. And of course, you can work with a business coach or a life coach, you know, like or do ceremonies or try, you know, ayahuasca if you would like, like it has become popular but I think before doing all of those types of modalities, working on your family, on your past, on your childhood, having a relationship with your inner child will be the wise step for me.